Good morning all, it's the Devious Monkey here. It is an actual glorious Tuesday morning. It's 82 degrees and sunny. It's not all that schwitzy. It's gonna get there though. It's supposed to go up into the 90s. But there's a little bit of a difference today. We are gonna go on a little photo video adventure. And I'm gonna go to some place I've never been. I picked a random place on the map down in North Carolina. I'm gonna go see what it's like. So the interesting thing though, is that, that when I was looking at it on the map last night, I thought I could take a straight shot down the coast. Nah, not true. I have to go down a little more inland all the way down and turn around and come back up the coast to get where I randomly picked. We'll see what happens and we're gonna play. So, I don't know, again, random, just decided that I wanted to do that and that's what we're gonna do. So let's go see what we see. Okay, apparently we have a water park. Uh, H2 OBX Water Park. Saw it on the way here, thought that I would stop on the way back, but I'm not actually gonna go there, because I'm hungry. Okay, to the next landmark. kids. What a day. Wasn't that fun? Very different from my usual stuff. And I didn't blather on all that much. So I'm sure you enjoyed that. But it, again, it was a fun day. I've never been there before. Although when I first started with this company, I did have to go to the Chevy dealership that was on the other side of that bridge, OBX Chevrolet. That's where I used to go. But then I went further and then cut back up the coast and ended up where I ended up. And that was pretty neat. Saw a lot of neat stuff. Also saw stuff that, that might interest my wife, like uh, the wild horses. So I ended up getting to the end of that road, literally the end of the road. It goes right under the sand onto the beach, into the ocean. And apparently there are wild horses. And I wondered why there were so many places that, that advertised that there were air stations so you could, you know, pump air into your tires. And I was like, Jesus, is there really that big of a problem here that they've got these all over the place? And then once I got to the beach, I realized that that's why. If you didn't know this, you probably should only be using a four-wheel drive vehicle if you're going to drive out onto the sand. But you cannot drive out onto the sand with your tires filled with air. So like what you would be driving normally on the highway and all that kind of stuff, or driving around town, too much air. You have to air it way down. And then that makes them squishy and f like flatter 
and it makes it easier to drive on the sand. So if you ever are a dumbass and you go get yourself stuck out on the beach, you're never gonna be able to push yourself out. You need to dig it out a little bit in front of the tires and everything and get the undercarriage all cleared away. And then you need to air down a lot in your tires and then you can drive away. But you need to be quick because you don't want to get caught by the tide either. Okay, thus ended the lesson. So I hope you enjoyed the pics, uh, the little trip. I didn't record everything as usual because I'm not going to record when I go into businesses, but you got the idea. Hope you had fun. I know I did. And that's it. That's all I've got for you today. So if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below. As always, thanks for joining me. Be sure to like and subscribe. And remember, kids, forward and up.